Well, next day and a little bit more high spirited after last night's complete failure to print. Um, yeah, so I did a little bit of head clean and the reset and somehow the print head came back to life. Um, so I've cancelled the other client's job which is just pitch black. Um, I think the old printer just just doesn't like it anymore. Um, it's fine with all the other color images and anything else, but just don't give it a picture of the night sky. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, a couple. These are I'm sure what they are. These are like little diagnostic prints. I hit one, hit two, hit three, and slowly got a little bit better and better. Some head clean, some cleaning, manual cleaning, and so on. Yeah, so a bit of one night at morning, just trying to get it going. So sending that job through. Um, we'll do my printer. That there is a HP Z3200, um, 12 color machine, or essentially 11 colors, um, archival uh, printing on archival paper as well, cotton based for Teco art rag, not so bad. Um, yeah, if just don't buy a printer, rather print with somebody, um, rather let them have all the stress and carry on with your art and that. If you are a printer and you do it, you can understand my frustration and anger I get. Um, try to stay calm though, but yeah, these machines, yeah, they can drive you mad. Um, yeah, so let's let, let's hope this one comes out. Um, it's quite a big file. Okay, so I've cut the prints out and I just lined them up. I'm very excited just to see what it looked like and actually get the grasp of the scale of this. So my desk, just to so you can work it out, is a two meter wide desk. Um, so that's how big the print is. There's an overhang obviously and then there'll be some more space, white borders around and then the frame. Yeah, so just, just have a closer look at the front. And just to show you the scale of the overlap I do. When I shoot these, kind of shoot them quite randomly and kind of control how things are going to overlap. And yeah, sometimes I sit in one place and I try, just keep shooting. Um, one frame and different people in it and then mix and match it um, so in reality obviously in this whole image you see all these people but they were never really here all at the same time so it's quite like a fictional timeline um, of creating when these people were here but it kind of puts it together um, as one narrative I suppose you could say if that makes any sense okay cool so um, start mounting these and show you that and also let's have a look at the framing issues I'm going to be facing 